This is the Liberation DJ coming you for, coming to you from the Liberation DJ's desk. We want to uh, share some more information with you uh, about something that happened in 1972. This is at the time when Richard Nixon was the President of the United States. A point of history, a point of reference, uh, something to uh, understand about then as it relates to now. In 1972, at the time that uh, Richard Nixon was president, you know, the Cold War ended, Russia and all that uh, that was going on in that part of the world kind of ended. And Richard Nixon is sitting around his uh, table, uh, the cabinet members, he's discussing, you know, they project, uh, they discuss what they consider to be the next greatest threat, or they talk about what they uh, see as being the next greatest threat to the U.S. Remember, mind you now, this is 1972. One of Richard Nixon's right-hand uh, men were there, was there at the, at the time with him, which was uh, Henry Kissinger, uh, always been in politics, uh, kind of been in and out of the White House, but he's always been instrumental when it comes to certain affairs as it relates to the U.S. But uh, this particular meeting, he happened to be in on it because he was also a member of the cabinet in 1972, Henry Kissinger. And Richard Nixon, don't you know, he said to his people around the table, the next thing that the U.S. would have to worry about, the next greatest threat to the U.S. would be the rise of Islam. So some of you may wonder, well, wh what does this have to do with what's going on now? What does it have to do with what's happening now? Well, you understand that at that particular point in 1972, they start planning to do what they are doing today. This has been passed on down through each one of the presidents of the U.S. is to launch this kind of operation on the uh, Islamic world like they're doing now. So don't think somehow that this is just kind of uh, was planned and calculated when Bush, uh, the father, was in office, uh, Bush Jr. was in office. Don't think that this just come about because of, 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 of them. No, it wasn't that. It was, this is a series, a long-range plan that they have put into operation back in 1972. And we have to understand that 50 years, 100 years down the road, that's how these, these, this system, that's how these people calculate events and what they're going to do. So the operation that you see today in 2011 in the Islamic world, most of the Islamic world, this was planned and put together back in 1972 when it first was uh, brought to the forefront, brought to a uh, roundtable discussion by Richard Nixon, who was the president back in back at that period of time. And it's important for us to understand this because it has relevancy as it relates to today and what's happening in, t in the Islamic world today. It's no accident that all of these um, people that you see as, as dictators uh, in the Islamic world today most of these people belong to the U.S. Let me tell you what's interesting about most of the uh, dictators around the world. If you look up and you will see the, they have what is called the Masons. They have the International Masons. And they have the Masons in this country, in the U.S. They give the orders and directions to the International Masons and tell them what to do. And most of these guys who are dictators, presidents, uh, whatever they consider themselves to be over the Islamic countries, not the people, but the, the, the dictators, the people that consider themselves to be president, uh, whatever they call themselves, you will find most of these people, international, uh, uh, these dictators, they belong to the international masons. You will find they do. And they get their orders from the Masons inside the U.S. They tell them exactly what to do, when to do it. So it's no accident 
that when you have a, a, a president back in 1972 saying to his cabinet members what they consider the next greatest threat to be to the U.S., then at the same time you have the, 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 the Masons, who are a, a, big, a big order in this country, uh, giving the, the direct orders to the international Masons on their role and what they are supposed to do. So all, all of this, all of this works together, um, and we have to understand that this is what is going on today. The other thing that's also happening right before our eyes, and oftentimes, just because we don't see something, that don't mean that it's not going on. We always say to the people, and I'll say this to uh, to you: if you want to find out what is happening and what's going on, you do you raise two simple questions. This is kind of like an investigative reporter. You raise two simple questions. One is, who's behind it? Two, who would benefit? Remember that. These, that when you, whenever you look at an, an event, anytime you look at a situation that is going on in the world or throughout the world, you simply raise two questions. Who's behind it and who would benefit? And when you go at it that way, and you look at it that way, you will be able to find out, if you dig deep enough, you'll be able to find out exactly who's behind it and who would benefit from whatever it is that's going on. That's how you investigate something when it happens. That's the other, the other thing is, too, is that, um, for instance, uh, when we had radio station KUCB, one of the greatest stations in the nation we had right here, uh, in Des Moines, Iowa. KUCB, our motto was we communicate to educate and organize. And truth is the wealth of freedom. Truth now. Not falsehood, not lies, not deception, not deceit. But truth is the wealth of freedom. That was our motto. One of the things that we would do, we did countless interviews with so many different people. We did so many talk shows on so many topics and we covered we covered just about everything that could be covered we covered it on the talk shows and so my experience comes from 20 over 20 something years as a talk show host uh, on KUCB and also uh, got a chance to serve on the board of directors at the same time so um once again, you have been listening to the Liberation DJs from the Liberation DJs desk.